Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So this reading, actually, I know I didn't finish um, the Hallow's Eve, Let Me Predict Your Future reading. I only made it to Gemini. I actually did Aries and Taurus, but I didn't finish it because my dog was complaining and she wanted attention. So I do apologize. Now, sorry about that, guys. Well, that sound was weird. So the whole point of this reading, I just found out that Selena Gomez had has COVID. Um, and my prayers are, and my heart goes out to her as well. Now, I know I really have been thinking about it. Haley Baldwin Bieber, when she was on that podcast, guys, right? She knew what she was doing. She knew Selena Gomez was going to be listening in because the whole freaking inter interview was about Selena. And Haley Bieber Baldwin literally was speaking about Selena the whole time. And if you think about it, if you recall, Haley made it seem like everybody was getting along. She actually, it was like an invitation, a subliminal inv invitation to, um, sorry guys, hold on. Sorry about that. It was an open invitation. Haley was given Selena subliminally saying it's all love. Maybe she's in the industry. You know, maybe she knows something I don't know. So that way I don't get so much hate because she's been in the industry so much longer. She literally baited Selena in. And I feel intuitively because it didn't sit well with me seeing those pictures. And we all know how Selena Gomez is. She's got a heart of gold, right? And grant you, yes, she was guilted, I believe, by Haley making Selena feel as though, oh my God, it's my fault that this girl is getting so much hate. She was guilted into taking those photos, into making it seem as though everything's been okay with them when we all know there, there's no okay between them. Selena was just being the bigger person. She was baited, I'm telling you guys. Like, that's the vibe I get from it. Because there's no coincidence that Selena has COVID after being at this event, being in Haley's energy. That energy of hers, I'm telling you guys, she's, she's a lot smarter than she portrays herself to be. She really is a mastermind. And Taylor Swift's song is definitely about Haley. It hits too close to home, but of course it, it hits home for Taylor in her own experience, you know, as well. So, but I, this reading I wanted to do, I wanted to check in with Selena. I want to see how she's feeling, um, with this whole, with this whole thing, this, these pictures, <laughs> I just want to check in with Selena and see if she's okay, how she's feeling and all that stuff. So guys, keep in mind, this is for entertainment purposes only. All right. But also energy is real. Everything is energy. Everything is vibration. There's different realms. The earth is, is made up of vibration. I can literally do a whole video. Actually, I'm, I have a lot of videos in regards to biology, in regards to astrology, in regards to the earth, the planets, all that stuff. Minerals. Um, oh my God, what is that called? All those chemicals. Um, what the heck is that called, guys? Um, Oh my God. It's the, it's like H2O. Um, oh my God. If you guys know what I'm talking about, leave it in the comments, but let's check in with Selena. Let's see how she's doing guys. Okay. 
Let me shut this microphone off. All right, let's see how Miss Selena Gomez is doing. Okay, guys. All right. Yeah, I think I'm gonna grab a moonology card. The moon represents your feelings, your innermost you know, feelings, like what you hide. But what makes you you? Okay, so for Miss Selena Gomez Spirit, how is she feeling right now after these pictures with Haley? How is she feeling with COVID? Full moon in Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan. New moon in Aries. It's time to take action. And then full moon in Aries. A fiery climax approaches. Interesting. So. Full moon. New moon. So we got two full moon cards. One in Taurus, one in Aries. Time to take action. So what I'm getting in instantly with these three cards, I think she's had a desire to kind of squash it. Like she's replayed it in her head over and over, Selena, we're talking about. As to if she ever bumped into Haley, what would she say? So this plan... Her dreams have, she wanted to squash it. She want, I do believe that she wants a rebirth. She just wants to just kind of cut the cord to all of this nonsense, really. And she's replayed it in her mind over and over. Um, and that's why she's she took action. It's time to take action. But now a fiery climax approaches. So something is coming to a head. Something is kind of bursting. Is what I'm getting. All right. Let's see what this is, Spirit. How is Selena Gomez doing? How is she doing? Oh, boy. Oh boy. All right, guys, never mind. <laughs> All right, how is Miss Selena Gomez doing, Spirit? I'm just going to do a classic six card or nine card, whatever I feel guided to, and then we'll clarify. Got the hermit. Okay, Selena. Nine of Pentacles. Thank you. Um, thank you. Thank you. Sorry, guys. So they're not answering. Goodbye. That was my mom bringing me some coffee, guys. So get your coffee, get your popcorn, and cheers. Let's do this. Sorry if I'm sloppy, but <laughs> I'm enjoying it. It's hot. All right, let's get into this, guys. Okay. How is Selena Gomez doing, Spirit? Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez, please. 
Ooh, that just came flying. You've seen that. Wow. Ace of Wands. Okay. All right. Selena Gomez. The Tower. <clears throat> okay. Selena Gomez. Got a few. All right. Nine of Wands. And then Eight of Cups to the King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles, guys, is Haley's father. That's who I represent the King of Pentacles being. Um, I'm telling you, he had... He most definitely had something to do with these pictures too. I know it. Either he paid Selena something was done. I'm telling you, like Haley baited her is what she did. She knew what she was doing. Okay. Sorry guys. I'm just trying to get everything a little bit more organized. I should have did it before, but that's okay. Coffee vlogs. And checking in with Miss Selena. All right. I am going to clarify, guys. I'm going to still use this deck. We got the two of pentacles at the bottom. Yeah, going back and forth. Did I make the right decision? She's regretting it, guys. I'm telling you. And she's actually... She wants to walk away with the five of swords. She's actually having a lot of negative thinking right now. Third party, King of Wands. She's seen it as an opportunity with Justin, guys. She really is still attracted. I think Justin reached out to her, too, because the Knight of Swords, that's fast communication, legacy, community. She's seen it as an opportunity. And I'm telling you, Haley really baited her with that podcast. She knew what the hell she was doing. I don't like Haley. And to see Selena in that picture with her, uh-uh. Like, it's one thing to be a bigger person, but it's another thing to defend somebody, right? But not just defend somebody, but actually turn on, on the people that have been there for her. And that's the vibe I got from those pictures. I feel like Selena lowered herself. She wasn't the bigger person. That's just my opinion. And I feel like Selena feels it. She really does, guys. All right, clarify this hermit, please, for Selena. Why is the hermit here for Selena? Why is the hermit here for Selena? Why is the hermit here for Selena? The King of Wands guys came back out. I'm telling you, Justin reached out to her, gave her some sort of counsel, but ooh. Ten of Cups. Yep. One more. That just can't. Judgment. Wow. Bottom of the deck. Hanged man. Knight of Swords again. The Ten of Pentacles. And there, there's Haley. And Haley again. Knight of, Knight of Wands. Page of Wands. This hermit, guys, the message I'm getting from this is, can you see it? Okay. The message I'm getting from these, right? Let me just get actually my um, rose quartz wand. Hold on. All right, guys, sorry about that. All right, so the message I'm getting from the Hermit to, let me, oh my God, guys, I'm so sorry. I keep saying sorry, I don't know why, but, all right. There we 
here we go. The Hermit, clarifying the Hermit is the King of Wands, Ten of Cups, and Judgment. I'm telling you, the King of Wands could be Haley too, because she is a fire sign. But I'm seeing it more of a masculine. So, so I believe either Justin or Haley reached, I feel Justin reached out to Haley. I mean, excuse me, to Selena. And kind of gave her some sort of advice, counsel, wise counsel. That's the hermit. To move on, to make a judgment call. To be emotionally fulfilled. But instead of her being emotionally fulfilled with this judgment call, this decision, she's the, I mean, the hermit can also represent guys, her being sick, her being withdrawn, her withdrawing from the situation and isolating too. So keep that in mind. All right, let's continue. I'm putting my rose quartz wand right there. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles, please, for Selena. Why is this here? Why is the Nine of Pentacles here for Selena? Nine of Pentacles for Selena, please, Spirit. God. There. Wow. This is Justin, King of Cups, guys. He's a Pisces. <laughs> wow. I'm telling you, he reached out for Pentacles. Yeah, he's not... He still holds her very close and very dearly. He actually sees her as abundant, um, attractive, single. Like he's actually, he's. I think he's afraid of her moving on. To be quite honest, I mean, Selena has had no love life since Justin. If you think about it, it's been a long time, guys. So when that nine of cups, yep, he knows he's afraid of letting her go, guys. He's expressed this to her too, is what I'm getting. He is definitely expressed with the king of cups. This is the this is just an expressing to Selena, nine of pentacles, how much he cares about her, how much he loves her still, how much he's still holding on to her and how she makes him still happy. Just thinking about her. They're still in their energy. I don't know why, but they are. Let's clarify the, um, let's clarify the ace of wands for Selena. Yep. Eight of wands. I'm telling you guys this, they commute. He communicated this to her. I'm telling you eight of wands, five of pentacles, nine of pentacles, and then the knight of cups. Yeah. He felt depleted. He's He feels depleted without her. Like, I don't care. I'm telling you, those pictures just really rubbed me the wrong way. And I think Justin knows this. And I think he is checking in on Selena. He is showing up in her reading. So I don't know what else to say. And Haley did too. So advising her wise counsel, which she, there's nothing wise about Haley. I just got goosebumps. All right, Ace of Wands, please, Spirit, for Selena. Why is this here for Selena? Ace of Wands, please, Spirit. And keep in mind, guys, a fiery climax is approaching in her energy, too. So I wonder what this is going to be. And we're going to clarify that at the end, okay? So stay tuned. Queen of Cups just wanted to show out. Eight of Pentacles and then the Chariot. But I'm going to keep shuffling. That's Selena. The sun that just flipped out. Oh. Queen of Pentacles. Ace, eight of Wands again. Okay. Clarify the Ace of Wands. Why is this here for Selena, please, Spirit? Ace of Wands. The star. Yep. Look at that. The, the sun and the star. A new project bringing happiness, wanting it to bring a sense of healing, shedding light on 
a new project of some sort. And there Haley is. Look at that, guys. Oh, wow. These two just were stuck together. So that's Haley, Queen of Wands, and the Four of Wands. Her home life, her marriage. High Priestess, and then the Star, and then the Sun. Bottom, the Fool. Yep. She took, oh, yeah. I'm telling you, Justin, the Three of Wands. Selena's waiting. She knows her ships are coming in soon. I wonder if it's this documentary, but I feel when this documentary comes out, guys, it's going to actually catapult her and help her move forward in her life. It's going to level her up. It's going to, it's going to kind of help her break free of whatever, of her being so conflicted in her mind. Her being so conflicted. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Page of Swords. I can't keep. My hand doesn't hold all those cards. So clarifying the Ace of Wands is we have the Four of Wands, Queen of Wands. And keep in mind, these two came out together, stuck. High Priestess, Star, and then the Sun. So the message I'm getting, guys, is... Hold on. Sorry. One second. So we do have a troop here, King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. So just keep that in mind too. So the reason the Ace of Wands is here is because Ace of Wands represents new projects, an idea. Also, it represents attractiveness, sexual energy too, right? So the Queen of Wands came out with the Four of Wands, which represents Haley and her marriage. And I feel like that was Haley, in a sense, jumping out saying, Selena, no way are you getting close to my husband. Selena, intuitively, with the high priestess, guys, she really was trying to start. She wants a rebirth. And with the high priestess showing here, right? Selena was embodying her higher self when it came to Haley and her marriage. She really was. She was, it was kind of like, the best way I can explain it is I believe Selena could possibly could have been like, maybe down the road she'll say, it was like an out-of-body experience when I approached Haley. I didn't know what I was doing. I just knew it was the right thing to do. That's the energy I'm getting. I don't even think she was consciously even knowing what she was doing, to be quite honest. I just think she just embodied a higher self knowing this was going to bring healing. And also utilizing her celebrity status, hoping it was going to be a good thing, Explo like ex exposure, right, onto the healing between her highest self, Haley, and the marriage. She, I mean, this is, aces do represent new beginnings. So it is kind of a new beginning in a sense for Selena. But at the same time, she, I do sense that she's kind of regretting it as well. But I feel as though Justin, I feel like Haley has a lot more to worry about now that she took those pictures and tried squashing it. Like they say, be careful what you wish for. And I believe where Haley has been wishing and had that invitation for Selena, hoping Selena will come to her rescue and save Haley from Selena's fans, but turning on her own fans. Haley, at the end of the day, got what she wanted. She wanted the nonsense to stop, the gossip, the hatred to stop from Selena and her fans. But like they say, be careful what you wish for guys, because I'm telling you, 
Now she has more to worry about when it comes to Justin and Selena. Okay, hold on, guys. I'm getting a phone call. Okay, hold on. Hello? Hi, Kendra. Hi. Monday with Dr. Pepper at 11.45. Okay. Thank you. Confirmed. Thank you. Have a good weekend. You too. Bye -bye. Thanks. Bye-bye. Sorry about that, guys. Mm. Mm -mm. That coffee is good. And this is still recording. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Let's continue this, guys. This is getting interesting. Clarifying the tower. You guys can see these, right? Okay, let me move these a little bit. The tower. Let's clarify that spirit. Okay. Why is the tower here for Selena? Why is the tower here for Selena, please? Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Ten of Swords. Five of Swords. Okay. Bottom, four swords, contemplating to communicate because of a third party, but showing strength, but being conflicted about it now because deception. Wow. And it was so fast. Well, this reading actually is very similar to actually, I'm not going to lie, a reading that I was watching on YouTube myself very similar energies and it, it's it's weird i don't know so if this person is watching this video i apologize but you can see yourself that the same messages are coming out from your reading into this reading all right like they say energy it's real guys it really is so clarifying the tower we have queen of pentacles five of swords and ten of swords so yes this was a sudden sudden move on Selena's end. I just feel again, guys, I'm getting the energy she was paid with the queen of pentacles, but all that did was create negative thinking and it's kind of like she's sitting in this painful ending still. It hasn't gone away. So with the fount with the tower being here, right? 15, 16, so it's seven. So there's a lot of conflict within herself that she's sitting with, that she's not feeling very good about. I feel like she I feel like she feels as though she betrayed her own fans, her own people. I, I do feel strongly that she is actually feeling that or, and thinking that. Clarify the Nine of Wands, please, Spirit, for Selena. Why is the Nine of Wands here? The Empress wanted to show. Okay, Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands. Wow. Okay. What else? Nine of Wands. Eight of Swords again, Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, and then the Empress. Okay. Can you see these? Okay. Okay, so clarifying the Nine of Wands, guys, Nine of Wands for Selena, guys, is now, the one, Nine of Wands is somebody that's exhausted, that's paranoid, that's it's the wounded warrior, really, right? Um, very guarded. I believe Selena impulsively took action, thinking that there was going to be a lot of growth and abundance with this decision, right? With the Empress and then the Knight of Wands. 
That's impulsive action. And I'm telling you guys, there's money involved. I don't care what anyone says. That's my my own download, my own psychic opinion, right? With the Ten of Pentacles, thinking, okay, this is what I'm going to leave behind, a legacy. I'm going to be the bigger person. I'm going to take action. I'm going to be the abundant one. I'm going to be the bigger person. But yet, look at it just got me right back into being conflicted in my own mind about it. She started with this, hoping it was going to end, but she's back in this energy, guys. She really is. Okay. Let's clarify the Eight of Cups, and then we're going to clarify the King of Pentacles. Okay. Oh, wow. Six of Cups, Two of Cups, and then Three of Cups. Yep. Queen of Swords. Wow. Okay. That right here, guys, this story, the back, the bottom of the deck always says more than the cards that pop out, I feel. She still loves Justin. I don't care what anyone says, guys. She does. Six of Cups to the Two of Cups to the Three of Cups. Maybe she was hoping she this was her way in to get Justin, too. I mean... But then the Queen of Swords is here, and I feel like that's Haley's energy saying, nope. Thank you, Selena, for, you know, squashing the beef and having people now like me. Thank you. But when it comes to Justin, absolutely freaking not will you ever talk to him. That is the energy I'm getting from Haley. And I that's why I really feel strongly that Selena's regretting it. I feel like Selena had expectations to this like there was no, there wasn't she didn't do it for nothing that's what i believe and with the energies that's coming around here too i mean she can say all she wants that she did it because it was the right thing to do no i believe that in in her heart and soul she did it whether it was to get back in justin's good graces and to have justin look at her in a different light Maybe Justin is looking at her in a different light. And maybe Haley's picking this up. Who knows, right? Only time will tell and only the cards will tell. So let's see. Clarify the Eight of Cups. This is her walking away, moving on from something, wanting to move on from something. Oh, look at two eights, guys. Eight of Wands. Walking away, communicating. That could be the social internet too, guys. Um, fast paced. Walking away from communication that's been on the internet. What else? For the Eight of Cups for Selena, please, Spirit. Oh my God. We have three eights Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, and then the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Five of Cups, guys. Oh, wow. She regrets this ending. She regrets squashing it. <laughs> she really does. And there's a lot of changes that she's actually going through right now because of it. Wow. But she does see it as a new opportunity. And I'm telling you, there was money involved. She was definitely paid off to do this. I'm telling you. And she's stressing at night about it. She doesn't like it. She feels stuck. She does. But with the Six of Pentacles, too, she wanted to balance. She wanted to do what was right, not what was really right to her, but what was right to someone else. It's more like a people-pleasing energy is what I'm getting. So, yeah. Clarifying the Eight of Cups, guys. We have the Eight of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. Let me show you. Sorry. Okay. Can you see that now? Okay, good. So... This is saying, guys, that she put the work in. She really did. Even if that meant getting money, getting paid. Because this, the Eight of Pentacles represents somebody at a job being distracted, working very hard to make their pentacles. And with the Eight of Wands, she wanted it to be known. And she wanted, she wants to move on from it. She wants, she just wants to walk away. Whatever this decision was that she did make, right, with Haley, 
it's not making her happy. The fact that she's got the eight of cups, guys, right? It was very fast paced, very impulsive. And it had to do with money. There was no genuine energy towards it at all. And because of that, it didn't make her happy. It wasn't emotionally fulfilling. So what is she doing? She's walking away from it. She's trying to seek what will emotionally fulfill her is what I'm getting. Now, I want to clarify this Mr. King of Pentacles, which I believe is Haley's father. I do. And she regrets it. Like I said, the five cups, death. Yep. Clarify, who is this Mr. King of Pentacles, which I believe is Haley's dad? What does this guy want? What is he? Why is he in hate? Why? Oh, my God. Why is he in Selena's energy spirit? What does he want with Selena? Who is this? What does he want with her? What does he want? What does he want with Selena, please? Oh, oh my God. You seen that pop right out the devil. Look at that, guys. What else? What does he want? That came out. Ace of Cups. Yep. What else? What does he want with Selena? Five of Wands and the Emperor. Oh, my God, guys. Okay. Look at this. This is a way to end a reading. This is the Seven of Wands, right? Oh, my God. And then the Lovers. Six of Wands. Guys, You can't, I can't make this up. She made a logical deci decision to try to balance the skills, right? To be on the better side of karma. Reflecting now that she's doing, she's doing a lot of reflecting on this decision because this is Selena and she's still heartbroken over it. Okay. Now, let me get to the other cards. This is the seven of wands. All right. This is somebody that sticks up for someone else, protecting their energy, right? This is, this is someone sticking up for somebody, fighting for somebody. And it has to do with the lovers to squash the love. I'm telling you and look at the six of wands. She was hoping it, it was going to be victorious. She was, but she's really iffy about it now. Now. Oh, hold on. Okay. Now clarifying this, Mr. King of Pentacles, we have the, the devil came right out guys. You'd seen that. The Devil, Ace of Cups, the Emperor, and the Five of Wands, clarifying this guy. What does he want with Selena? Well, there's a manipulation, most definitely, with the Devil and the Emperor. 10, 15, so six. Harmony with the Foundation. Knowing there's a lot of competition between Selena and Haley. He offered her something. I'm telling you what this Ace of Cups said. This is the father literally giving his hand to Selena saying, hey, I have an offer. But this offer is nothing good. It all, it all is coming from a place of manipulation, toxicity, controlling anger like just being very stoic and very like stubborn this is definitely Haley's father i'm telling you now i want to clarify a fiery climax approaches for miss selena i want to i'm going to use a different deck though um what do i want to use what am i called to do I want to use this or do I want to? I'm going to use this because I haven't used this deck yet, guys. And I apologize for this mess. I'm trying to keep this as neat as possible. All right. There we go. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. Clarify this climber Damn it. 
Clarify this fiery climax approaches for Selena, please. What does this mean? Oh, damn. What is this? The Ace of Wands. Sorry, guys. Ace of Wands. Seven of Wands again. Save. Five of Swords and the Nine of Cups. Yep. Haley got what she wanted, but did she really at the end of the day, guys? Because she kind of, like I said, even though she wanted, she wants to be so well liked by people, she literally had left the door open for Selena to Justin. So did she really get what she wanted? Maybe she did, because maybe there is no genuine love. With Haley and Justin. Well, maybe on Haley's end. <clears throat> All right. Clarify this fiery climax spirit, please. What is approaching for Selena? What is coming to the surface? What's coming to the surface, please? Actually, you know what? I'm being called to use this deck, guy. Sorry. Clarify fiery climax approaches for Selena, please. Full moon in Aries. So this is definitely something that will be coming to the surface. It's kind of like the moon, really, right? When things get, well, the moon reversed. Things that have been hidden for so long, it's finally exposed is what this card represents to me. So what is this exposure for Selena spirit? What is coming to the surface for her? Oh. One more, please. Renewal and then the chariot. Yeah, she wants to, she just wants to rebirth and she wants to just move on with her life. What is this exposure for Selena Spirit, please? Nine of air. And then the high priestess. All right. What's this exposure for Selena spirit, please? Ooh, that almost caught on fire. <laughs> All right. We have king of water. Oh, my God. You guys seen this flip out. This is Justin. This is Justin. This is his Pisces sign. What's coming to the surface is it says, Trustworthy, compassionate, respected, cultured. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice, charity work. She trusted him with this advice, how it all is coming from this very beginning of, the, of this reading with the, the hermit. See, I was called to use this deck for a reason. What else? What's coming to the surface? Please, Spirit, for Selena. We got the Ten of Water. Oh, my God. The Ten of Cups. A, excuse me. A contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. Wow. Why is this happening for Selena? Why is this happening? We have release. Look at this. That's death. And then we have 10 of the art. Release a painful ending. This is why it's happening. She could possibly be dating someone. I feel like this is Justin. I feel like Justin's going to be opening his heart to her. Honestly, if not him, then someone very, very soon. But it has to do with a climbery climax approaching so that's kind of like something coming to the surface and why is it coming to the surface and what is coming to the surface what's coming to the surface is this person king of cops which is justin being happy with her ten of water that's a family there's gonna be something coming forward that has to do with him and her 
being, whether it's very close friends or whether it's going to be a new beginning for that. All right. And why is it happening? We have the release, which is death. And then the 10 of the air and end it. Why it's happening is because she wants to be happy. She deserves to be happy because this needed to end this, all this nonsense needed to end that has to do with the painful, painful dragged out ending the end of a difficult situation, embrace the change and expect things to get better now, recovering from an addiction too. So she could be possibly drinking and, you know, doing drugs like she was once, but she's recovering from that, especially with the death card, the end of a phase or a situation, spiritual transformation, time to move on guys. This is what I'm, this is exactly what's coming in for her. She's adjusting to this change. She really is. She's very conflicted into, did I make the right choice or not? And full moon in Aries, guys, it represents like, Aries is the first sign of the Zodiac. It's very impulsive. So all these impulsive things that she's done, it's going to come together. It's going to come out. And I'm telling you, Justin is a part of it. Guys, if you liked this reading, please like, share, subscribe. It will really help grow my channel and it will help me getting the message of how energy works, of how, you know, of how energy can just be switched up like that, how people, why people do what they do, whether it's lying, cheating, stealing, loving, accepting, forgiving. And it gives you a lot more insight into people's behaviors and their psychology. It really does. So please, I would love you guys to support my channel. And if you want to donate to my channel as well, which would be all used on my channel. Because as you can tell, I mean, I'm using a chair with this middle console of my regular dining room table for a table. So I would never use it on anything else. I would help use it for this channel for you guys, especially. Um, you can cash at me at the dollar symbol, capital K, lowercase E-N-D-R-A, a-N-D-R-E-W-Z. And I would be so grateful for that. I would. And if you want a personal reading, you can reach me at my email, Kendra Andrews, K-E-N. No, excuse me. You can email me, guys, at, um, what is it? Kendra's Tarot, excuse me. K-E-N-D-R-A-S. T A R O T at gmail.com. And I do have an actual end of year sale promotion. So if you guys have, let's just say a question, you can email me the question and it's $10 for one question, three questions. It's $25 five questions is $40. So one question is 20. Three questions is 25 and five questions is 40. You can email me your questions with the payment, the cash app dollar symbol, capital K E N D R A. A N D R E W Z, and I will answer you with a timely, with within time. I will within probably most likely an hour, give or take. Okay. So this is for you guys. Let's ask, what does the collective need to know, Spirit? What do they need to know right now to end this reading? What do they need to know? 
boss, especially my collective, my subscribers, my viewers, my new people. Okay, we have this coming out. Seven of Wands in reverse, justice. And then the lovers reversed. Wow, very strong message. Two of swords in reverse. So this is like avoiding a decision that not wanting to face something that you've already done. All right. Being kind of conflicted, but embarrassed in a way too. Now we got the seven of wands guys. Now you need to, if you have been with somebody and you're no longer with this person, you're separated. Love is reversed. Spirit wants you to know that the balance of the scales are going to be balanced. The scales will be balanced. Excuse me. You don't need to keep defending yourself. You don't have to keep proving yourself, whether if this is a legal situation or just in general. You don't need to keep fighting and sticking up for yourself in regards to the situation because justice is here saying to you guys, things are going to get balanced. especially with 10, 11, that's two, numerology. So two represents two people coming together, but having to recover because of conflict with the seven. Conflict with passion, conflict with creativity. Guys, if you have been struggling with somebody in your life, this is saying it's going to be okay. You don't need to keep fighting and proving yourself. Spirit and God knows the truth. They always do. And either way, the truth always prevails. Keep that in mind as well, guys. It always does. All right justice is it's going to take over god's spirit will be taking it in their hands you don't need to keep fighting okay and it will be served and things will be balanced for you guys okay so that is your message from spirit i love you guys so much thank you so so much for watching this video i have so many i have like over 100 videos already on my channel Please keep, you know, just watch them if you want. Um, there's a lot of celebrity readings, especially Selena and Justin and Haley. I've been really um, focusing on, but I love you guys. God bless. Have a safe Halloween if I don't post a video before then. And yeah, thank you so much. Mwah. Bye.